But very alarmingly, it took so long for any police or medical services or anyone from the Wynn Hotel to come out and actually help. I think it was at least 10 minutes. And that's the account of a witness who stepped out of the Wynn Resort and into a crime scene this morning. With millions of people visiting the Strip every year, the challenge to keep everyone safe, it is daunting. For a special report last year, Fox 5's Kim Passoff went inside the Southern Nevada Counterterrorism Center inside the Metro headquarters, and she is back there tonight. And Kim, they have an elaborate network of cameras focused on the Strip 24-7. Yeah, that's right. There are always people in this building around the clock watching and reacting and sharing that information with officers on the ground. And today, those cameras helped officers track down that mass stabbing suspect. This video shown at the police news conference within hours of the mass stabbing. The attacker running away, but every step being watched and captured on camera. He is running southbound to help orientate you to the video. That is the corner of Sands and Las Vegas Boulevard North. He is now turning to go eastbound uh, on foot. And uh, he is followed and is taken in custody um, several hundred yards down the street from here uh, by the Sands security. An extensive network of cameras and their operators are watching for crimes in real time. Specialists and officers in the Southern Nevada Counterterrorism Center work 24-7 protecting the city. We spoke to the director ahead of the 20th anniversary of 9-11. We are trying to make sure that something like 9-11, something like 1 October, something like uh, uh, domestic extremist attacks that you've seen all across the country don't happen in our community. The center is not just staffed by LVMPD. There are representatives from 18 agencies, local, state, and federal, all under one roof, to immediately share information. Over 600 cameras, so we're constantly scanning. Uh, the people that are working in here are actually trained to look for those behavioral indicators and those anomalies. Our people were panning and uh, saw an individual sitting near the Bellagio fountains, a little abnormal. He immediately went to uh, his bag and started pulling out a firearm. That man concealed the weapon in his waistband, got up and walked away, dropping a magazine from the gun. One call from those watching on camera and officers on the strip are there in seconds. Though they don't know what exactly was planned, preventing violence before it happens is the goal. The female is aggressively encountering all the different tourists walking on the bridge. In another instance, as a woman waves a butcher knife on a pedestrian bridge over the strip, cameras follow her every move. The people operating them letting officers know before they even arrive, she has thrown the knife over the barrier and onto the street below. They can safely take her into custody. So while cameras covered nearly every inch of the strip, a new threat can emerge at any moment as it appears to have today. The counterterrorism center is set up to detect them. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. As far as the suspect involved in today's deadly stabbings, we are waiting to find out who exactly he is and where he's from.